What's going on everybody? I'm Jake the Long Kid. Welcome back to yet another video. Today we're going to be initiating another project here on the JTLK channel and that is going to be the restoration of my grandmother's acre plus of lawn. Now for those of you guys who've been watching the channel for a little bit, you guys know that this project has been in the works for quite some time. Fortunately, I'm partnered with Green County Fertilizer and I have them along my side to help me with this project. Thanks Green County Fert by the way. By the way, speaking of Green County Fertilizer, just put out an awesome video on their next DIY lawn channel about two days ago where I show you guys everything you need to know step by step within the spraying procedure of the next fertility products we go through everything from the mixing of the products all the way to spraying procedure it's a it's a very involved video if you want to check that out I will leave that here in the eye in the top right corner as well as linked in the description below anyway big thanks to them for supplying the product for this really means a lot thanks again to all of my connections over at Green County Fertilizer now with that being said we got a lot to show you guys here but before we do that let me go ahead and show you guys a little bit of buttery b-roll of my grandma's lawn and then we'll walk through a little more in depth of the big area we're dealing with and just give you an idea what the lawn looks like so yeah let's go Okay, so what I've got here is I've gotten a two-dimensional view of my grandmother's house right here. You can see you got street names right there and all that confidential information, which is blurred out. So you guys can't track where I'm living. Don't be like that. Anyway, you can see you've got a nice street right here. This is typically where you're going to drive up when you're coming into where she's at. You drive up, you'll see, this is typically what you're going to see when you're driving up. You'll be driving up here and you'll see this long side yard right here alongside the driveway which leads to this section here this is pretty much the chill spot if you will there's a nice little fire pit right here got a couple trees to add a little bit of shade and then we got a nice little gate right here that leads to the pool area so it's a nice little amenity in the product project for sure when I spend a lot of long days working over here I often like to get in that pool so There'll be some more content on that coming up as well. So anyway, you can see, got another section here behind the pool. This area pretty much stretches along here. Um, half of it's shaded completely by trees. The other half is full sun. Got a little willow tree right there that is no longer there. So might need to update that. And then we have a nice little bridge right here. Leads to this large area right here large area grass. We actually have a little burning pile right here in the video that we're going to be burning in the fall for a, a potential episode of Lawn Fires with JTLK. So that'll be coming up. Stay tuned for that. And then coming along the side of the house, we have this section right here. This area is pretty much all sun. It's probably the biggest part of the main um, area of lawn. You can see again, all sun. Got some plumbing stuff right here that we have to deal with. We'll have to properly level that out over time but that's another project for another time that we're not going to dive into today so and then coming along the side here here same deal and then we got a nice little front lawn right here have a couple of problems here opposite to what we're dealing with on a majority of the property one of them being too much shade we don't really have a whole lot of sun over here dense competition with all the trees so that's something that we have to contend with and then to finish it off, we have a nice long parkway that runs right underneath these trees right here that just pretty much outlines the entire front lawn, if you will. So that's pretty much a walkthrough of my grandma's lawn is we're going to be initiating the process of improving the overall thickness and quality of this turf. As you can see from some of the shots here, some of the things we're dealing with here, we got a good turf stand, right? That's one thing I always tell you guys, if you have about 50% or more of grass in your lawn, then you know that you're good to go and you really don't need to do any spring seeding. We don't need to add any cultivars in there. We just need to work with what's here, see where we can get that and whatever doesn't fill in, we can come back in the fall and do a fall seeding. So in this case, we're perfect. We have a lot of turf that's been here for quite some time that we can work with and get going to the best of its ability. And then, like I said, fall time comes, depending on what happens, we can complement it with some new grass seed products which you guys have heard me endorse on this channel regularly with all the projects we've been doing so anyway let me go ahead and break down what we're going to be doing today the end goal i have with this project is not perfection not even close this is a big lawn doesn't get a lot of traffic right it's not high maintenance turf it's 
turf that's been here for like the last 30, 40, even 50 years even, right? So I'm not concerned about getting it, you know, tip top shape or perfect, especially like I said, when it's such a big area and it's not even irrigated, right? So not even gonna happen. So really the end goal here is I want to improve the overall thickness and quality of the turf. And the ways we're going to do that is by number one, killing off the weeds that are here, and number two, feeding and pushing the existing turf that we have within this lawn. So that's the goal today. Before I get into the applications and what we're gonna be putting down, I got quite a bit of string trimming to do for my grandma, so I'm gonna go ahead and knock that out for her. I got a lot of stuff along the swale here. Gonna knock that out and then we'll get right into the contents. So, without further ado, let's roll that buttery B-roll. I can already see the comments. Some of you guys are gonna be like, Jake, lawn looks pretty good, but what's up with this dead spot right here? Well, fun fact about this, uh, one of these willow trees right here actually fell over and it was stuck laying here for a good two years. We just couldn't get over here and cut it. But finally, my, uh, my uncle stepped up to the plate, got out here, got it cut down. So kudos to him for that. He's actually here. I'll probably get him on camera today. But anyway, we got all of this cut down now. So all we're left with is this giant bare spot. So some of you might be like, Jake, what are you gonna do about this? And my answer to you would be one word. You wanna know what that one word is? Dethatch. That's right, liquid dethatch. Not today, it's still a little too cold. We're actually in the 70s today, which is nice for me, but we need to wait till we get a little bit warmer, mid 80s, low 90s, get over here and just hammer this area with dethatch and let nature do its thing and then we'll just keep our eye on it but yeah that's what's going on over here all right back to it <laughs> Um, for those who don't know, I actually brought one of my brand new mowers here, for those who don't know as well. I'm also working with Snapper and Toro this season to make some content on their uh, zero turn mowers. And I just happened to have the Snapper with me today. We're cutting my, we're cutting my grandma's neighbor's lawn. This tractor just broke down, we're helping him out. That's my uncle over there on the 42 inch Snapper. Check this thing out, it's pretty awesome. Look at that, awesome, beautiful cut, beautiful cut. For a 42 inch mower, hell yeah, great mower. All right, everybody, so we finally got to the point in the day where we're going to be putting down our product. As you can see, we got a lot we're gonna be doing today. We got some fertility stuff here, 1801 Green Punch. This is going to be our stable fertility product. Gonna be good for this lawn since we haven't given it anything in like years. So it's gonna be good to give it a good dose of macros. And we also get a little iron in there, which will give us that nice color pop. And then with that, we also do have some RGS in here. This is going to help with 
stimulating root growth, which is very important, especially again in a situation like this where the lawn hasn't been treated in quite a while. And as far as what I can predict, it's going to be beautiful because once again, the lawns that haven't been treated in years, they tend to respond the best. And then with that, we also got some weed control. This is Mezzo 4C Select. You guys remember from the video I did two or three weeks ago where I revamped my uh, grandma's friend's yard. Um, we literally used this on the, on the uh, weeds in conjunction with uh, spring seeding and it worked really, really well. We're going to be putting this down five ounces to the acre. We happen to be dealing with one acre here, so this is going to be perfect for that. So, without further ado, let's get this mixed up and then, yeah, I guess the rest will be buttery b-roll and then that'll be all she wrote. So you can just follow me as I put all this in. So, the application rates for 1801, if you want to come closer. The application rates for 1801, two full bottles on an acre. So one bottle is about two and a half gallons. Multiply that by two, five gallons 1801. So as far as how many ounces per thousand that is, I don't know that off the top of my head. But uh, I don't know that off the top of my head, but I'll have to do a little math in the uh, editing room later, so no big deal. But two, two and a half gallon bottles, here we go. Pour it in there, right? Get it in there like so. It's calling it this. I don't know. <laughs> Alright. There we go. Bottle number two. Uh, sonar beep. Do -do 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 -do. Hmm. This lawn's going to be so green, <laughs> so green. And then one bottle RGS, six ounces per thousand on 40,000 square feet. It's about two and a half gallons, a little over that. We're just going to go one two and a half gallon bottle. That should be plenty. There we go. If you want to come a little closer. All right, now we're going to put in the uh, Mezzo 4C Select. It's the uh, broadleaf weed control. This is going to control a lot of the broadleaf weeds we're dealing with, like the dandelions, the clover. It's going to be slower acting, so you're not going to notice results until like around week number three, which is probably when we'll do another follow up treatment. Um, hang on, do you, do you have a knife anywhere? I do not. Where's the little syringe at? There's a little syringe with it. It's right on the top. Oh, okay, perfect. That makes that makes my life a whole lot easier. All right. Note that it's important to wear your PPE when you're spraying weed control. This stuff, you don't need to wear PPE. I recommend you do it anyway because this stuff will stain your hands and it's a pain in the butt to wash off, but it's it's able to come off. It's not permanent. But in driveways. Yeah and driveways, right? Exactly right. So again, we're going to do five ounces to the acre, and they come with a little syringe here, if you want to come in on that a little bit. See they have it labeled right there. Five ounces to the acre. So we're going to go ahead and bring in about that much, maybe a little over that, because five to eight ounces. And we're just going to, boom, put that in there. And then from here, we just fill it up. Get the, get the product pumping through, and then, yeah, I don't need to film that. That's too redundant at this point. But from here, we're gonna, we're gonna roll some smooth buttery B-roll the application, and that'll be it. So let's roll that B-roll.
So there you go, guys. That's all I have for you guys today. Real quick, I want to go ahead and say a big thanks to my sponsors for helping me out this. Number one, big thanks to my grandma, obviously, for believing in me and letting me do this project. Number two, big thanks to my friends over at Snapper for sending me that cool zero turn, the 360Z that you saw me using in this video. We have a ton of awesome content coming up on that very, very soon, so make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for that. And also, real quick, I want to say a big thank you to my friends over at Green County Fertilizer again for not only supplying the product for this project, but just saying a big thanks to you guys overall for working alongside me these past two years. And on top of that, really looking forward to some of the awesome projects that we get to work on as the season and the years progresses. So thanks to those people really means a lot. That's all I have for you guys today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like, leave a comment down below. Oh, forgot to mention for those who are interested, JTLK merch finally available. We got a myriad of different t-shirts we're making. We also got some pop sockets. Check that out. JTLK pop sockets. For those who want to get their hands on that, all of that will be linked down in the description below for those who want to check that out. So yeah, awesome stuff. I'll see you guys in the next video. If I don't see you guys in the next video, your lawn is going to be dominated. See you later.